Hi artists, today I'm going to show you how to make your own recycled beads using different types of paper. I love using brightly colored and shiny magazine paper, but you can use regular newspaper or you can use your own paper that you colored designs on, printer paper or construction paper too. What you'll need to do is cut vertical lines and that will mark the thickness of your beads. You can use a ruler too if you want to or just start cutting. So this would be a bead that is one thickness and it's just a rectangle bead. You can also cut triangles where it starts out wider and this is what the thickness of the bead will be. And as you go to the top, you can get thinner and thinner and that will create a bead that tapers on the ends or gets smaller. So you can work on cutting either straight lines or slightly angled lines. I think the tapered beads, so the lines that you cut angled are a little bit easier to work with. So that would be my recommendation to start with. I have a bunch of different strips of paper cut and now I'm ready to start rolling my beads. What you'll need next is either a pencil or a skewer and I have a chopstick that I might try out. And what you'll need to do is roll the paper around the pencil or the skewer, starting with the largest side first, the largest end of your paper. So this is the wider part. It gets thinner here. And I also have my colorful design facing down. You can roll a little bit. And then once you get towards the end, about halfway, you can use a glue stick or a glue bottle and just put glue on the very end, the last few inches and roll it the rest of the way. Make sure you roll nice and tightly. So now I have my bead rolled up and then you can just pop it off the pencil, slide it off and I have one bead that has a hole down the center. Set that aside and you can continue rolling your other beads. Now, if you cut straight lines and you have a long thin rectangle, it will look a little bit different, but you do the same thing. You start with wrapping it around your pencil, roll it up a little bit, and then you can add the glue on the end. That will help it hold together. Slide it off. If you roll too tightly, it's a little bit hard to get off. Here's my next bead. This one I rolled the colorful part down so you can't see the colored part. So make sure you flip the colored part or whatever side you want showing facing down and then you can start rolling. Sometimes you need to hold the very tip down so that it sticks for a little bit. It has some time to grab and then slide it off your pencil right away. I created a lot of different beads and you might find that you have some struggles. Maybe you're squeezing the paper and rolling it too tightly so you can't get it off the pencil. Or maybe you just have a problem bead that doesn't come off the pencil well and that's okay. Sometimes we just have to persist in art and try new things and adjust things to make it work. Once you have all your beads made, you are ready to string them on a piece of yarn or a piece of string that you have to make a bracelet or a necklace. I am going to first tape this down so that my beads don't fall off before I can tie it together. I'm just going to tape it down here and you can start stringing your beads onto your necklace. 
If you have different colors of beads, you could create a pattern or you could even paint the beads before you string them or color them with marker to add some variety to your piece. For my string, I am going to buddy up the two pieces. So have them side by side and loop them around together around your finger. So you make a loop and then stick them through the hole and that will make it nice and secure. It's a little bit tricky though. And then you can pull it tight. That way the string doesn't slide open. And there you have it. Can you believe that this used to be an ad for pizza? You can do so much by recycling things around your house and you can make these beads into necklaces, bracelets, and even garland that you hang around your house as a decoration. Have fun being creative and recycling and reusing things.